Hello everyone, my name is Ilyar2 and welcome to my Let's Play of EU4 with the Imperium Universalis mod. Yes, so, last time we played this mod, it was quite a while ago, pretty sure that was back last year I think, we played as Athenai over here and we formed Hellas and dear god was that, was that hard. Um, but now they've continued to update the game quite a bit. You have all of these little guys in um, France and Spain and the British. And of course, you have all the way over to China, which is really good, I'd say. But today we will be, ple we will be playing this good old-fashioned Roma over here. Roma, well, obviously right now in 195, it's not AD. I can tell you that much. Uh, I don't know what year this is. It's Cyrus the Great. So I'm assuming... Well, where is Cyrus? Is that what... Persia should be Cyrus. Yeah, whatever. Um, but Rome, we're going to be playing as them. Hopefully we can unite. I'll probably attempt to make as much of what Rome actually was. I might not go all the way, but, you know, we can try. Alright, so let's begin. So, Rome only has two little provinces, Roma and one other, one other one, uh, what is it called? Actually, no, three. We have um, Pardenste, Ostia, and Roma. Now, oh, look at that, they even have their own little um, icons, that's cool. Uh, religion, let's see, I, I haven't seen what they've updated. Yeah, we have patricians and pontifices, makes sense. Um, we still have the food thing. Mm. Uh, view great powers, Babylon, Medina, Egypt, Lydia. So there's only four great powers in this. Okay. Uh, start food, imports and exports. Show the amount of food and slaves. Amount of food. Okay, it's blank right now. We'll wait. Uh, we are currently a republic. Right? Yeah, a regnum romanum. Monarchy that is led by the most powerful nobles in the country. Oh. Okay. Seems pretty cool. But, uh, so who's going to be our rivals first? So we have Pisai, Sabini, Ati, and uh, Vea. Who are those? Sabini. Well, I do want to get Sabini. Oh, dear God. So many available rivals. Let's just get... Uh, well, can we get... Who is this? Vea. Vea. Okay, that's a good one. And Tarukara. This guy. Yeah, that one. All right. So if we look at the Diplo macro thing, we got 22 people who would offer the an alliance. I would love to have an alliance with you. Uh, no more. Really? That was quick. Oh, we can't offer another alliance. All right. So we'll give that a break and we'll continue on. So the build road roads in Rome. Remove Marcy. Marcy, I would actually like to do that, yes. Uh, but first off, we might want to build some more soldiers. We currently have 2-1-1. One, one. Um, I think we should probably build 2-1-1. One, one. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Build three more. All right, it's accepted our military alliance. Piseni and... Hmm, Piseni, who is that? Piseni... Wait, that's not how you spell that name. Piseni, there you go. Piseni, these guys. Uh, yeah, sure. And who is this? Vestini. That'll be all of our uh, allies. Vestini over here. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. Probably have the same rivals, so that helps. Ooh, food. Um, you know, I don't want the food system because honestly, that was just annoying. In uh, the original game. No food supply. Yeah, we lost it. Alright, good. Yeah, I don't want food to be a thing. Because that was just so annoying. I'm sorry, it was. It, it just was. Alright. Here's that blank, blank, blank. Uh, we should probably actually collect trade. Italia. Mediterranean merchant ship. Alright, so what's our trade node? Uh, Italia. Makes sense. We have the largest one. Since, of course, we own Rome. Ooh, but Vea. Vea, Vea, Vea. 
you are open, aren't you? You are allied with Sabini. Ooh, shit. That's a little bit big. I don't like that. Government hinders trade. Yeah, whatever. All right, get the soldiers down to there. All right, so 313. That's a pretty good amount. We can get one more slinger. Let's go ahead and get one. Because uh, we have four that will be on the front line and four that will be behind them. Good, 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 good. That's just good. All right, Lydia has the Great Earthquake. Cool. I like I like when people have earthquakes. You are allied with the Velch. Uh, that's 10,000. You are allied oh, with them. Oh, we're allied with them as well. Um, You know, I think you would be the best to go to war with. Since I don't even think they can access us. Which I'm okay with. So, yeah. So, right, so they also added added periods. So we're in the Archaic period, then Classical, Hellenic, Hellenistic, Hellenistic period, and Imperial period. Cool. Megalopolis, a uh, city, wait, own a city of your culture with 25 or more development. I like that. Have a gold income of at least five. Easy. Have a Zoroastrian. Nope. Ooh. What is this? The Servian Wall was an ancient Roman defensive barrier constructed around the city of Rome in the early 4th century BC. I guess that's where we are right now. The wall was up to 10 meters in height in places. Really? Wow. Well. I'm sorry, but we don't need it. It's just a waste of money, I think. Because, uh, honestly, we are, I mean, we already technically have a fort there anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Latium. Can we form a country? No. Right. Lex Horsteria? Really? Oh, that'd be cool. Alright, we'll, we'll go ahead and get that. So, what's our culture? Our culture is the only culture, and it is Latin. You have down here, you have Umbri. Hmm. So, I guess we'll have to... I guess we won't spread our culture. We'll only have the glorious Latin in our own lands. How many accepted cultures can we have? Zero. Oh, that's not good. Well, when can we get accepted cultures? Yay, Quintus. Cool. Servius Tullius. Wow, that is Rex Rome. Servius Tullius of Rome. That is an amazing name. When can we get an accepted culture? At level 13. All right, that's pretty far away. All right, let's try and fabricate this claim. Are you kidding me? We can't fabricate? Really? Uh, we'll gain religious authority. Religious authority slowly increasing. We get the highest amount of missionary strength. Ooh, and stability cost modifier. I like that stuff. Pseni, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. All right. But we can't get claims until level two Diplotech. Oh, that is so stupid. I hate that. But, uh, okay, so what's going to be our first idea? Offensive, maybe? Quality, quantity. Probably quantity, because quantity is just having more is better. And there's no massive, like, massive um, empires around us, unlike Lydia over here. Jesus Christ. So, we are kind of safe. We, we will have um, coalitions, and that's a problem. But I'd say we're pretty damn safe. Hopefully. Hopefully safe. Uh, You know what? Let's go ahead and rush the Diplo points right now. Why not? Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get another hoplite. Because we can. Because screw you. Alright, yes, we discovered an agent. How wonderful. How wunderbad. Rome is going to be glorious. I like how we're, we have the SPQR flag, but we're not a Senate. Technically. I mean, yeah, technically we're not a Senate yet. We're still whatever this is. The most powerful noble in the country. I guess that's them. But wait, when I die, is this guy going to become my leader? Because he's not the most powerful noble, I don't think, at least. He might. He might be. I won't judge. All right. But hey, once we get level two, we'll be able to get claims on both of these lands. So that we'll get a lot less aggressive expansion. And you, you know, you're allied with Sabini. You guys are allied with both of them. Oh, my God. The web of alliances is really going to suck. But I think we'll be fine. Another great earthquake. Good. Want all these people to be nice, weak, and squishy. 
How, how long do we have for our favors? Every year. All right, cool. Uh, the old captain. Uh, gain an admiral. Or, you know, just gain army tradition. I'm okay with that. Oh, I'm a zealot. Well, that's fantastic. Even though everyone around me is already the correct religion. Never mind. The attrition disciplina. I have no idea what the hell that is, but okay. We want the Di Constantius? Constantis. Di Constantis. That's uh, who we are. And then the Olympioi. I believe that's who the heretics are. No, wow, there are a lot of heretics. Not that many heathens. I mean, there are the Jews, the Muism, the Four Immortals, and Tangri. Uh, what the hell is the Four Immortals? That just sounds badass. I want to be part of the Four Immortals. <laughs> Please? Uh, so... Yeah, food. Right. Oh, right. We also have this. Um, I want infantry combat ability increased. Yeah, that would be nice. And, oh, man. Oh, we can't get multiple focuses. Well, we do have a ton of infantry, so I suppose that helps. Oh, shit. We got caught. All right. We'll pull out. Try not to lose too much. And uh, Diplotech 2 is coming February 201, which is in a year. Excellent. New Siege Weapons. Hey, that means we can get level 2 very, very soon. Um, yeah, we'll get married. Why not? Why not Zoidberg? So, what is our last name? Of Rome. Okay, great. We are the Of Rome family. That's pretty fucking lame. Ooh, a civil war in Egypt. I like that. That's pretty cool. Good, good. I want them to fall apart. Uh, so, do we still have our spinal work even just a little bit? Oh, come on. Well, we, we have enough to gain a claim. Come on, Diplotech. I believe in you. Oh, it's negative five already, so that means someone around us has gotten it. I wonder who. Oh, Ivanda, Ivanda is them. It's a Tarshuna. Cool. Well, that helps us, I guess. And this is going to help a lot with the land morale, although I'm sure everyone already has a ton of land morale. Thief in the library. Come on, really? That is like the exact opposite of what I needed, people. I needed you to give me more tech, not take it away. Oh my god, seriously, there's more people? Wow. Okay, uh, slaves. I like having more of those. Uban has announced us as a rival. Cool, I don't care. Keep building the spy network. All right, cool. And almost there. July 201. There we go. Diplotech level 2. Um, screw the plebeians. How dare you, you plebe. Alright, come on. And there we go. Military tech 2. Let's go ahead. Fabricate the claims. Get out of there. And go to war. Vestini. I mean, you're... Oh, no. I'm not going to call you. If I call them in as a co-belligerent and we're allies. No, no. That won't happen. All right. So let's go ahead and get a leader. I can't. Let's get myself as a leader. And go squish them. Awesome. It worked. That actually fucking worked. Wow. Uh, go squish them again. Awesome. Oh, hello. That. Wow. What? So, what? What? Why is Sabini in here? Let's go ahead and... Wait, we can get... Um, regiments. Cool. From, from who? These guys? Alright, cool. I like that idea. Um, let's go ahead and crush them. Come on, help me out. Yes! Excellent! Alright, go squish them in Antium. Yes! Even even the Conantary got destroyed. Oh, that's sweet. Serbius Tullius Military Reform Census... Um, well, cavalry to infantry ratio decreases. I don't really care. You know what? We already spent enough military power. We might as well. All right, so I can go there. I'll heal up, and you can siege the land down. It'll all be mine. Yay, me. People will get pissed off a little bit, but that's fine. I'll gain a bit more money. Manpower. Ooh, a lot of manpower. That sucks. Um, yes, they've declared war. Oh, because they lost everything. Right, right. Uh, you... Oh, you're totally screwed, dude. Oh, and you're in the war now? Ooh, buddy. 
and you're only allied with Sabini. Okay, time to get that spy network built up, and I'm going to take over Marcy as well. Or Maruvium. Or I'm going to take Marcy. You know what I mean. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and help siege up the land so I can actually see. All right, at 14 right now. Uh, yep, still 14. So we're, we're not going to help. We'll just allow them to uh, killy killy. All right, cool. Come on, don't ally with anyone else, please. Would really suck if you do. Rich harvest. Awesome. More manpower. All right, defenders. Dessert. Yeah, 50%. Come on. Come on, game. There you go. All right. Um, plundering of Antium. Uh, military power. Lose development. No, set them free. I'm not, I'm not going to risk losing development, especially not right now. Um, they would totally surrender. All right, but you guys, we can end the Conatary. Can we, please? Uh, is it influence? Alliance? Relations? Dynastic? Covert? Economy? I, th I, th I, th I already looked at economy. Uh, I, I don't need you guys to give me Conatary, so no. Hey, you're my ally, so give me access. Sweet. So let's go up here. Squish them. So we have higher morale. Oh shit, we do. They have more military tactics, so that's concerning. Oh, but we lost. Damn. You guys can move up. Here, friendlies, attach. Attach to me, my friend. My friendly. No? Oh no, they're going up there. Ah, ha ha ha. Well, there you go. That's our chance. There you go. They're all dead now. Can I actually annex you? No. <laughs> all right. But if you just left, that would be great. Give me all your money. No. All right. Just leave. And we will annex our new lands. And give me all your money. Awesome. Roma has expended. Please get rid of your Conatary. How do I revoke Conatary? Hello. Game. Whatever. Uh, make them coarse. By the way, what is your... You're all tribal federations? Really? Oh, that's kind of sad. Despotic city. Uh, yeah, a couple despotic cities here and there. But uh, overall, you know, cool. We have a unique government. All right, let's get more hoplites going. I know we're really low on manpower right now. But I think having more soldiers is more important than having, well, more soldiers. Can, can you please... There you go. Cancel mercenaries. That's what it is. <clears throat> Great festival for Diana. Diana? Diana? Whatever. Religious unity. Yes. I have plenty of money anyways, so might as well. And can I get some manpower increase? 1,000, really. That's pretty good. Yeah, sure. Do that in Rome. Cost 150 gold, but I think it would be worth it. I, I have plenty of gold anyways. Not going anywhere, so... Alright. You guys can unite... And these cores should come very soon. Sadly, we won't be able to get these as um. Wait, is this a state? Latium. Oh man, that's all in one big state. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wait, what's our other states looking look like right now? Uh, I guess like that. Oh, okay. So that's the land we need to conquer. And you, my friend, still only allied with Sabini. We will have to increase, or increase, get ourselves the claim here. Uh, you're still allied with Sabini. But still at war. Awesome. So they, Sabini's been destroyed. And it's all thanks to us, because they they uh, hired Conatari, and we just destroyed them. <laughs> oh, awesome. A drought... Yeah, but we don't produce food anyways, so it's not a thing. So I don't care. You know, I think I might get some... Oh, no. What? Has no possible neighboring provinces to have a claim on? Yes, I do. Game. Yes, I do. They're right there. Huh? Oh, I already have a claim. Wow, I'm stupid. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get one, two, three, three more 
three mercenaries going. That should be good. Good amount of um uh, morale to increase when I do attack them. Can work it as an advisor. No, screw him. I can't spend any more money right now. Please stop. All right, cool. Cool. A gift. Go ahead. Declare war. Sabini won't even join. And uh, we'll squish them. Hopefully. There. No. Wow, we failed. Miserably, actually. Uh, it looks like they're actually going to go up there and help their buddy. But uh, I would say that's a pretty dumb thing to do there, bud. Conatari. Sure. Come over here. Get over here. Seriously, hurry up. Uh, economic stagnation. Who writes stability is a thing. Um, you know what, let's boost stability right now. Lose money. That's fair. Uh, what, what can we get? Abolish slavery. Uh, well, we're Rome, so that's not going to happen. I do enjoy having slaves. All right, supply limit. Where where are you? Yeah, can we cancel mercenaries? No, we can't. Great. I totally did not know that you can't cancel mercenaries. Good for me. I can call allies into war, but no. The patricians want land. Um, here, patricians have land. That's actually plenty of land. Yeah, eighteen percent. Need fifteen percent because reasons. Uh, curious reforms. What the hell is that? Oh, development cost. Oh, sorry, development cost, stability cost. All we need to do, yeah, sure. If it's a permanent thing, then I'm totally okay with it. All right, food shortage. So this game lasts until like 600 AD. That's pretty extreme, I'd say. Uh, I don't know where they are right now, but. This is going to be awesome, because... Oh, wait, there they are. But they're going to join us, so we should be fine. We are. Cool. Let's go ahead and squish them there. A thief in the library. Of course there's a thief in the library. All right, but let's go ahead and take them over. Give me all your money. And there we go. Rome has expanded yet again. Awesome. Um, so we can get rid of these mercenaries. Thank you. We have rebels about to rise up. How, how many? Um, 11,000. Right, didn't think about that. But you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so. Rome has expanded. We've more than... Well, actually, we've exactly doubled our land. And technically a development. Well, actually, no, we haven't. But close to it. Uh, we're about to have some rebels. Although, I think I can just do a harsh treatment on them and it'd be fine. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Lira 2 and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.